any which who, I'm excited. Super excited. We've got the All-Star Weekend happening right now. And we've got some wild cards going on here. we got some things that we did not expect. Literally wild cards. Eulaberry and Double G. Yuli and Double G. Guguli are now part of the all-star event question mark i don't know i'm filming this at 7 55 p.m eastern standard time on february 10th 2022 so i i really don't know what to expect right now to be completely honest uh my guess is that in four minutes now it's 7 56 p.m that i will find out hopefully we'll see i don't know it's kind of all up in the air right now, as far as we all know. Uh, I'm just sitting here waiting and trying to see what happens. My guess is there's going to be uh, an intro to the intro. So they'll probably give like a five minute warning type thing. Who knows? So in the meantime, I thought I'd be productive and talk to you about some stuff that's going on with Joe's Disc Golf. New video dropped today. Go ahead, go to Joe's Disc Golf, youtube.com slash Joe's Disc Golf. Yeah, you heard it right. YouTube.com slash Joe's Disc Golf. If you want to see some exercises on how to help your shoulder pain or how to prevent shoulder pain, or who knows, maybe even ask me some questions. I had a great discussion throughout the entire day, posted that video, told people to get a hold of me, and they did. The masses did. And I'm very happy about that. There is such a wonderful audience out there, and I can't believe I'm saying this about Reddit. I mean, Reddit can have some good, Reddit can have some bad, and like any social media place like Reddit, Twitter, whatever, Instagram, it can turn into a dumpster fire really fast. This did not. It turned into a very pleasant, pleasant experience. Everybody seemed to be pretty happy about the job I did. They thought I did a good job with the quality uh, of that. And I, I'm su- like the, the positive words really make me want to make another video very soon. That next video will most likely be all about doing a proper warm up. So there are a lot of new people coming in here, coming into disc golf, and I want to show and give access to high quality information for free, absolutely free on YouTube. I mean, there might be ads. I don't know. I don't have the channel monetized. I cannot get the channel monetized. I don't have enough people. That's a whole separate whatever. That's not like I don't care about that part of it. But, you know, so what? The five second skippable ad, whoop de doo, versus, you know, paying for all this information that's that's out there. That I went to school, I learned all this stuff, I learned how to do this, I learned how to do a proper warm up that is going to be fantastic. It is going to be the best disc golf warm up ever. That was a horrible, horrible Donald Trump impression. Uh, I really should stop, but it's just, it's so easy to do a terrible impression. If you don't care about the impressions, they're really easy to do. Back to the warm up. I want to give that information out there because there are a lot of people going out and playing disc golf and just jumping out of the car straight to tee pad one, whether it's a tournament or whatever. Yeah, you might do a little bit of a warm up, throw a few shots ahead of time if it's a tournament situation, but generally speaking, you know, you don't really do that much of a warm-up, and I want to help you unlock your full potential and get out there and be able to play around, be warm, be accurate, be good off of hole one, and not going, well, you know, it takes me the first three, four, five holes to warm up, and after that, I'm good. I want that to be hole one. I want you to be playing your best right off the bat, and um, yeah, that's that's about it. It's uh, going to be exciting. It's going to be good, and then Even more importantly, well, no, just as important as the warm-up, is the cool-down. And that's what you should do after your round is over. And I'm planning to have these take maybe 10 minutes about each. 10 to 15 minutes. I might have different levels. So if you're just going out to play a casual round, whatever, it's a 10-minute warm-up. If you're going out to play a tournament and you want to get a really good warm-up, I'm going to try to come up with something a little bit longer, a little more intense, so you are at the tippy top of your game. It is now, as I record, 8 o'clock, and a stunned silence falls on the Disc Golf Network website. It seems that things are starting to go live now, 
Everything is starting to load slowly. Aha. The draft will begin in nine minutes and 42 seconds. So I've got nine minutes to talk to you guys about whatever I want. And I just, again, want to reemphasize that I am super, super appreciative of the positive comments. Um, There are a handful of new people who subscribe to the channel. Welcome, all of you. Everybody who chit-chatted with me on Reddit asked me some questions. I gave you my honest opinions, my thoughts about everything. I did uh, the best I could. Some people were looking for more specific medical advice. And what I will say is that you should go talk to your doctor, go see a physical therapist, go see a sports medicine professional, whether that is a sports medicine physician or an orthopedic surgeon or an ortho physician's assistant, someone in the orthopedic slash physical therapy realm would be about the best thing you could do. Um, because without getting hands on and actually testing, like a lot of, obviously this one being all about the shoulder, uh, I got a lot of shoulder questions and comments and without being hands on with you, I don't know. And so there's not a chance in hell I'm going to give a recommend, a blind recommendation like that. So I can recommend that if you're having some shoulder issues to try some gentle range of motion, pain-free range of motion. So like getting the arm moving a little bit, raising it up, out to the side, that kind of stuff. Other than that, if you're having significant pain, I would highly recommend go get that checked out. In the Northeast Indiana area, we are lucky to have three different options for walk-in orthopedic clinics. These are clinics that you would think of as, say, like, urgent care, but for specifically um, orthopedic injuries. So the emergency room and regular urgent care, they're fantastic at keeping you alive and checking out a whole wide variety of things. Generally speaking, what they're not so great at is ortho stuff and vice versa. You would not want to go to an orthopedic surgeon if you're having a heart attack. Now they can do enough. They can do a, a decent amount of good work but you'd be better off going like, obviously the best case scenario would be seeing a cardiologist, but even still going to an emergency room where they see that more often, you're better off with that. So the same thing kind of applies. Like generally speaking, when, if I ever have an athlete that goes to say the emergency room, they put them on crutches, they put them in a boot and say, don't do anything for two weeks. Well, that will do more harm than good. Generally speaking, nine times out of 10. Now, if it's just a regular old ankle sprain, I can get you back and playing in about 10 days, probably faster if depending on the situation. So sitting around for two weeks and doing nothing, your joint gets stiff and all that stuff. So when I say like you should go get this checked out, like your primary care doctor is great at family medicine, checking things, making sure the heart sounds good, lungs, all that fun jazz. Probably not as great again, as I said, with the uh, sports medicine side of things. So you're better off going to see a sports medicine professional. Uh, one of the PT clinics, physical therapy clinics I used to work at used to do free orthopedic exams. Like you got, you know, your shoulder hurts. You come in physical therapist or myself, an athletic trainer would check you out. We go, Hey, yep, this is what you got going on. You should come here to do physical therapy. Cause obviously, you know, it's a service. Yes, it's free, but we're saying like, Hey buddy, you know, you should come see us. Cause we're the ones who diagnosed you. And where I was in Wisconsin, you had direct access. So you can have five or six physical therapy visits without needing a prescription from a doctor. So obviously things vary state to state, region to region, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, maybe check into the clinics around you. You might be able to get a free exam. Check that out. They're going to push that you do physical therapy with them, but you don't have to. And uh, generally speaking, we were able to tell someone like, yes, you can do it. Five visits, you should be good. No, you know, this, this seems a little more serious. You should go see an orthopedic surgeon because most likely that is a surgical case, that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's, it's kind of difficult, but at the same time, it's, it's worth looking into, you know, um, I'm always here to try to help. I want to do my best, but at the same time, without actually seeing you and, you know, directly working with you. It's very hard to 
make a diagnosis over the internet. Like, I think some of the cool things coming out of the pandemic is some of this telemedicine. And I, I think some of that technology is really neat. And it is good for quite a few things. However, you know, it's not going to replace going in to see the doctor, but it is a nice screening tool, generally far cheaper than going to see the doctor, whether like, like, Hey, you know, kind of feeling under the weather, you might need a prescription and you see the doctor and then you're good to go. Other times, you know, you might actually have to go in and see them. And that's, that's what that is. And this is me stalling for six minutes so far. Hope you're enjoying it. The sounds of Joe's disc golf. <laughs> Still got four minutes to kill here. I'm doing my best, people. I'm doing my best. We might end up cutting some of this in post. I don't know how long this draft is going to take. I think it's pretty cool. Like I said, we've got some wild cards. Double G and Yuli on the MPO side. I believe the FPO also has something. Uh, but I'm not sure. Let's uh, let's check that out real quick. Do 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 do. All Star Weekend, and there ain't much of that. Uh, maybe I need to put 2022 in there. Not 2002. 2022. 2002. It's definitely not old enough to be making YouTube videos. You have to be at least 13 years old. Oh, I would have been old enough. Just, just barely, probably. Uh, okay, that's just regular golf. Yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing. Uh, I know FPO does have a few people, and I just don't know what the hell just happened there. All right, it looks like on the women's side, I had to go into their story, into the Disc Golf Pro Tour story. It looks like Madison Walker, no, well, yes, Madison Walker and Holly Finley will be joining on the FPO side, which is pretty interesting. I, I don't know what this means. This, well, I'll tell you what that means. It means that some of my predictions have been thoroughly ruined because Double G is probably just going to throw this out there, probably go for distance. Just going to throw that out there. Probably going to go for distance. But you never know. It is, it, it just, I mean, who knows? And right now, you know what I know? I know I've got 35 seconds left. That's what I've got left. And uh, I can't wait. I'm excited. It's so exciting. There's going to be so much to talk about. There's going to be so much fun stuff here going on. This is kind of a semi-live reaction, just so you know. So when you're listening to this tomorrow, well, when you're listening to this today, because it will be Friday when you're probably listening to this, when this will be published, haha, those are the words I'm looking for. Everything will have passed and we will be into the skills competition. But now we're about to what? Witness the draft. And if you're... Wondering why you can't hear anything? I don't have any of that uh, up right now. I don't have any of that. I don't need any copyright violations here. So they are currently just uh, talking here. It's uh, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> 